Hey everybody, it's Crazy Bob again. And guess what? Today, beautiful day outside, I said, hey, you know what? I'm going to take my ultra rare 1 of 24 hardtop turbo Trans Am hardtops out for a drive. And guess what? I get in, I go to start, battery is dead as a doornail. So, I have an Optima battery. Uh, I, yes, yes, before you continue, I know I should always put it on a trickle charger so that it does, this doesn't happen and it doesn't uh, die. But I just simply plainly forgot. So the right thing to do is always keep your car on a 1 to 2 amp trickle charger or at least do that once or twice a week and leave it on for a few days. Probably a smart thing to do. I forgot. I didn't do it. I pulled it off last time. Completely forgot about the car. Came back out. To take it for a drive, batteries dead as a doornail. So what did I have left in my Optima battery? After measuring with my multimeter, I had about all of a volt to two volts in there, one and a half, 1.6. And so I disconnected the battery and let it sit. So after about three, four hours, the battery actually regenerated itself a little bit to give me about four volts. Now the problem is, if I now take a 10 amp charger and hook to this, nothing's going to happen. These batteries are internally circuited so that when they fall below 9 to 9.5 volts, they're not going to charge no matter what you do. So what do I do now? Well, what you have to do if that happens is you have to find another battery. Oh, and it just so happens I happen to have a second battery. And with that second battery, I now take a pair of jumper cables connect the good battery to the bad battery then I connect my charger, my 10 amp charger to the good battery and then I begin charging. So what this does in essence it kind of fools the battery to uh, uh, go ahead and give a charge to the good battery and some of that charge does make it over and it kind of uh, uh, does work and it lets that battery charge. So in today's case We've already been doing it. I've charged for all of about an hour now at 10 amps. Now, mind you, 10 amps is the bare minimum that you gotta you gotta use if you really have a depleted battery uh, like I do. And with 10 amps, I just checked it a moment ago with my multimeter. Uh, I've got about 11 volts. So, from 4 volts to 11 volts in about a little over an hour uh, by hooking two batteries together. Now, what do you need? Got to have the jumper cables. Got to have at least 10 amps, uh, and you got to uh, be able to uh, hook those together, and you should be good to go. So, with that said, hopefully that tip will help you get your uh, Optima battery or AG, any AGM battery, any any glass mat battery to accept the charge. Folks throw these away because they think, oh, battery's dead. Not necessarily. So, good luck. Give it a shot.